a review of the Dana Design Arc Flex, Arc Flex Astro Plane Backpack Expedition Pack. This pack, let me get to take a look at it, see what it looks like. The sides, and the suspension system. So this is a full 6,500 cubic inch Expedition Pack, and some of its features. Um, on the outside, you've got these two barrel tunnel um, pockets, you've got a sleeping bag compartment, you've got water bottle compartments on both sides of the pack, you have your cinch uh, compression straps, you have a top load and the top load is removable and connects to the belt for a small fanny pack for when you're doing uh, day hiking or summoning. On the very top of this, there is a durable mat that you can strap extra gear to the top of the backpack. On the bottom, you have two extra straps that you can strap exterior gear like a, another sleeping system or a pad or a tent. On the sides, the water packet pocket holders can also be used for holding in other gear, uh, like a hunting rifle, and it'll fall underneath these compression straps to hold it in place. The backpack has a really good handle here to hold the pack up. The suspension system consists of two interior, large, thick um, stays, it's called, and they're aluminum, which allows some very strong rigidity of the backpack staying in the vertical position. It can carry a lot of load weight going straight down, yet at the same time, the pack can stay very flexible, which is important for comfort when backpacking. Dana Design puts out this really nice pad with a hard backer inside of it. It's a mesh pad. It gives you the ability to breathe and it makes it more comfortable. The belt system is ergonomically, it's curved. There's a nice sew-in divot here so it's concaved. Extremely thick, durable um, buckles with a very thick strap and that holds it nice and tight. It's got a rough area on the bottom of this backer which sits on your lower back and keeps the pack from sliding downwards. The suspension system of the arm pads, these are soft and spongy, breathable and flexible for comfort. Um, it has a crossover uh, strap to cinch those two together. These things are a S design for comfort and it has top cinch straps to pull that backpack in or out which can also put load on your shoulders or take load off your shoulders and keeps the pack in a vertical position for comfort. <clears throat> a neat feature of this is accessing your pockets. You put your pack on the side and then you have these large number 10 zippers and they're dual zippers that can open the top or the bottom to access these exterior pockets and get to this gear. This pack is primarily a top load. Undo the two buckles here. This top piece comes off and has a dual cinch drawstring system and that allows you for even extra capacity of the pack. You can fill the pack all the way up to here and then this adjustable top will go up on top and strap down or you can compress it down, cinch up number one and then go to number two and cinch up number two and it makes it a smaller pack. I forgot to mention the top lid also has a very easily accessible packet and this goes right above your head when backpacking. You can unzip that backpack, put your hand inside of there and grab sunblock or anything you might need on the fly and then put it right back up there and zip it back up. <clears throat> Another feature that I really like about this pack is that if you're backpacking and you have to access some gear within the pack, instead of having to go through the top and empty everything out, this backpack comes with two side entry points. You can unzip the backpack, which is, <clears throat> you 
undo your compression straps. And here's a large zipper that goes the length of the backpack. And again, it allows you to get your gear down here low without having to unload the whole pack and pull things out. And again, they're dual zippers, you go top to bottom. There's one on that side and on this side for easy access to the backpack. The pack is made of durable Corridor 500 material. It is ripstop proof. It is basically bulletproof. And these packs have been around since the 1990s, maybe even earlier than that. I've owned one since the 90s. It's in great condition. Anyways, that's the review on the pack. I love the pack. One last piece, full daisy chain here for uh, clipping on extra exterior gear. A couple of ice axe loops that can be used to put a axe onto the pack. All right, that's it, thanks.